we don't want students to not succeed. Um, and the problem we've been running into is they're writing about these patients and they're making up information instead of what they actually see. If you think about that they're writing that in a patient's chart and then they go to court for any reason, they're falsifying a legal document. My name is Dale Sharp. I'm one of the professors here at the School of Nursing. I teach the graduate and the doctorate level students. I'm going to use an experience from here teaching because I think that's probably more pertinent. And it comes down to students that are plagiarizing in the School of Nursing. I, since I teach master's and doctorate, I, their students are already nurses. And so they're doing case studies, they're doing um, soap notes and charting on their patients. And the problem we've been running into is not necessarily a cheating or plagiarism, it goes a little further to falsifying records. So they're writing about these patients and they're making up information instead of what they actually see. And in nursing it goes a little further because if you think about that they're writing that in a patient's chart and then they go to court for any reason, they're falsifying a legal document. So unfortunately we have to you know, bring it to the student affairs office, bring it to the student's attention, and it goes through like a plagiarism, but actually even a higher level than a plagiarism. We don't want students to not succeed. Um, but it takes, for nurses it goes a little further. If they're undergraduate nurses, it's a matter of, you can call them on it and you know it's dealt with within the university. If it's graduate students, then it's our decision to go ahead and turn them into the Board of Nursing or not to turn them into the Board of Nursing. But when it comes to a master's student, it's a little different because they're already a nurse. And so it goes beyond cheating but to falsifying patient records and then that has to be turned into the Board of Nursing. Once we turn it in, usually the um, student affairs office here gets involved and if they recommend that the student be dismissed from that point, we don't see the student. So if they lost their license, we really would have no way of knowing. Ethically, we have to, we have to turn them in. And if we didn't and it was brought to someone's attention, we could lose our license because we didn't turn them in. So we're in a catch-22 no matter how we do it. I always try to keep open communication with the students to say, if there's a problem, if you're stressed, if something's going on that you need a little help, maybe you need more time with your assignments or you need to sit down with a faculty, go ahead and do it because it would be better to ask for help than to end up in that situation. You know, we look at our values that we're raised with and people have different values so to them their ethics are going to be different and even to this day we're dealing with those ethics.